Well, good morning, church. Uh, we're happy to have Sherylodine Lowe with us this morning. Sherylodine's family is actually watching a live stream right now, all the way from South Africa. So shout out to the whole family. We're glad that you're watching. <laughs> Well, as you know, baptism is an important thing. The Bible tells us that we should baptize all new believers uh, in the water, and it's a step of obedience uh, for new believers to take uh, that Jesus commanded the, the disciples. And so we're thankful to have Shirley Dean here with us this morning. And uh, Shirley Dean, uh, just tell us a little bit about what life was before you met Jesus. So, um, despite growing up in a Christian family and acknowledging the existence of one true God, my life was characterized by living in a way that was not aligned to Christian beliefs or principles. I was inconsistent in my faith, turning to God in gratitude when things got, went well, but blaming, blaming Him when faced with challenges and difficulties. And so how did you come to know Jesus? <laughs> After Jesus' resurrection, Jesus said that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to Him since He is Lord. I can't pinpoint the exact time when Jesus became my Lord, but he has been faithful to me in countless ways. In the last three years, I found myself drifting away from him as I faced significant challenge, such as leaving behind a family and friends to start in... Boy, I thought I don't want to cry. <laughs> um, to start a new life in a different country. While things seemed to be going well for some time, I began to feel a sense of emptiness and a deep longing for something more. Earlier this year, in February, uh, grappling with feelings of depression and loneliness, I experienced a profound mo moment in cl of clarity. One sleepless night, I turned to gospel music for silence, and amidst the me uh, melodies, I heard comforting voice of our Father saying, I'm here. I'm with you. In that moment, a sense of peace washed over me, lifted the weight of despair, and filling me with renewed hope. I was then, it was then that I realized with clarity that Jesus would always be by my side, guiding me in, uh, through life's challenges and uncertainties. And that's why I'm here today, to confess and be baptized as a follower of Christ. He came to faith in Jesus. Amen. Yes. It's not just your family cheering you on in South oh, no. Africa. It's everyone in here, too. So you came to faith in Jesus. And now what's one thing you want people to know about him? Well, I've got more than one thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want people to know that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is faithful to those who, um, whom he loves and always be there for them. Jesus, our Savior, the one who took the curse of sin on the cross because of his great love for us. He rose again victoriously to defeat the enemy. He has transformed me out of darkness into a kingdom of light. He is the Alpha and he's the Omega, the beginning and the end, God himself. Amen. Well, you've already told us you're a follower of Jesus, amen? Yeah. <laughs> and you've told us why you want to get baptized. Yes. And so it's my honor to be able to uh, baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. 